Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be looking at the tide and moon information on our Casio G-Shock GW7900 watch. This is module 3193. This video should also work if you've got the 3200. It's basically the same watch, it just has the inverted display. Now I'm not going to go into all the different settings. The purpose of this video is for the person who's sitting out there, they're thinking about buying this watch and they want to get an idea of how do you look at the moon and the tide information. The most basic way you can do that is from your timekeeping mode you can see your moon phase and you can see your tide information. You can see the moon phase is really small. It does a good job, but I wish they would have made it a little bit bigger. That's this little circle over here on the left-hand side. And then you've got your tide information. It's kind of hard to see, but this far uh, blinking indicator is showing what the tide information is from my current location and the current time, which is almost 8 p.m. That's just gonna be kind of a basic view of it. If we press the mode button one time, that will take us into our tide and mood moon uh, mode screen. Now, when you go in here, you'll notice that my time changed to 6 a.m. When you go into your tide mode, it's going to always default to 6 a.m. for the current day. Again, it's showing us what our current uh, tide information is for the current day. So today's April 6th. You see tide up top here. We can still see our moon phase. We can see the tide information as of 6 a.m. this morning. If I use the buttons on the right side, I can use either the top button to move back or the bottom button to move forward. I don't know why Casio does that. To me, they have it kind of backwards. But this was the tide information at midnight, 12 a.m. this morning. And then if I go forward, you'll notice as I progress forward, you can see the blinking indicator changing to show what the tide was like at the given time. So that's my tide information as of 5 p.m. today. Maybe you're going out surfing, maybe you're going fishing, something like that. You want to see what's the tide information going to be later today. You can see that. The weird thing here is you can go as far into the future or as far back uh, in the past to look at the tide information as well. But the way you do that is you have to go to the moon information. And the way we do that is while we're in our tide and moon uh, mode, we press the adjust button. You'll notice that it switches up here. It's now showing moon data. We can still see the moon phase, but our tide information is now gone. You don't see the tide information when you're in the moon uh, screen. Still have our current day up here. We can see the age of the moon. It's 16 days past the last new moon. We can again use the buttons on the right side, but this time instead of them progressing in hours, they are going to progress either backwards in days, or you can move as far into the future as you want per day. You'll notice every time I press it, it's recalculating and it's showing me what my moon will look like for that given day. That's 23 days uh, moon age. If I wanted to look at the tide information for that day while I'm on the given day, I just simply press the adjust button and now I'm looking at the tide information for April 13th. I can still see my moon information, but because I'm in the tide screen, I can see the tide information. Again, it's gonna drop you at 6 a.m. for the current day but you can move forward or back to any hour you want to see. It's pretty simple. Basically, you have a tide mode that you can look at any hour for a given day. You can switch to your moon mode. You can look at the age of the moon. You can look at the moon phase any day in the past, any day in the future. You know, Maybe you're going fishing or you're a photographer or something like that, and you want to see what's the moon and tide information going to be on, let's do May 15th. I can go to that given day. That's going to be my moon information. That's the age of the moon. I can press the adjust button and I can see my tide information for that same day. And I can go to any hour during that day to look at what the tide will be like. As always, once you're done with your moon and tide information, you simply press the mode button a couple times, get back to your main timekeeping mode. I hope that gives you a general idea of how you can look at the moon and tide information on the Casio G-Shock GW7900 watch. Thanks for watching.